If you would like to hear Night Dreams Talk Radio on your local radio station, let them know. Tell them to check out www.nightdreamstalkradio.com and thank you. Do you have a paranormal story you want to share on Night Dreams Talk Radio? You could be a guest. Email us at nightdreamstalkradio at gmail.com. Night Dreams Talk Radio Network brings you the world paranormal news with James Creechbaum. Now, the latest news. This is Night Dreams Talk Radio Network News, and I'm James Creechbaum. Agatha Christie's ghost is said to haunt English Museum. The oldest museum in Devon, England, is said to be haunted by several ghosts, including the spirit of crime writer Agatha Christie, who is believed to throw her own books off the shelves. The reason why employees at the museum believe that is Christie, who is tossing the books off the shelves, is because her spirit could possibly be attached to a ladder located in a room which was made from wooden floorboards that were taken during the demolition of her childhood home. What's even more eerie is that one night during a paranormal investigation, someone took a photograph which contained a ghostly image that looked very similar to Christy when she was younger. Voyager 2 is gathering science data again after recovering from a glitch in interstellar space. All five remaining instruments on NASA's Vernable Voyager 2 spacecraft are back to gathering science data after power overuse in late January interrupted the probe's operations. NASA made the announcement on March 3rd, over a month after the incident occurred. Troubleshooting for the spacecraft is a slow process because of its distance from Earth. It takes 17 hours for each command to reach the probe and for data indicating its efficiency to reach engineers. Voyager 2 has returned to normal operations following the anomaly on January 25, 2020, NASA officials wrote in a statement. Under mysterious circumstances, birds fall dead all over the world. Just last week, uh, marked by mysterious events around the world, that are associated with very strange cases of death of birds. Most likely something is happening in the atmosphere. Perhaps 1,000 blackbirds and starlings in Missouri, 650 vultures in Guinea, in, in Guinea, and 50 birds in India were poisoned by some kind of compound. It is important to note that people found birds near tracks with bodily injuries, according to U.S. officials. The problem is extreme weather. They appeal to the fact that reports of the death of birds began to come just during a thunderstorm on Sunday. A forester in India noted that death in the regions of his country could have been due to the fact that the birds ate food treated with pesticides. Also do not exclude infectious disease. Specialists gathered some birds and exam to examine them. This will take several days. In the meantime, people continue to find dead birds. New clue found in the hunt for dark matter. Scientists may have finally determined what might be behind a mysterious invisible form of matter. Despite concerted efforts, astronomers have been unable to observe dark matter directly because it does not absorb, emit, or reflect any electromagnetic radiation, thus making it impossible to see. The origin of dark matter in the universe is one of the biggest questions in science and one that until now has drawn a blank, said a nuclear physicist. Our first calculations indicate that condensates of D stars are a feasible new candidate for dark matter. Now, quarks are a type of fundamental particle that can combine in groups of three to form baryons, something that almost everything in the observable universe is made up of. When six of these quarks combine, they produce a hexaquark, something that has only been rarely observed. The Vatican proposes regulations for AI that can protect people. 
The appeal from the Vatican indicates six basic principles that should be aimed at protecting people. The Church also requires politicians to take more control of modern technology that could adversely affect human rights. In particular, it refers to a system that recognizes faces. The Vatican wants to ban the use of AI to collect information without the consent of people. The new document also indicates that the algorithms based on AI should provide people with information on exactly how they came to a certain decision. This will avoid bias. If you have a news story you want us to share on Night Dreams Talk Radio, contact us at James Night Dreams Talk Radio News at gmail.com. You are listening to Night Dreams Talk Radio After Dark with our host, Gary Anderson. And we are back with James and Ryan. You know, I, I got some emails while the, James was doing the news saying, how dare I talk about, well, Satan and, and the devils and all this stuff and connect it with UFOs. Well, you know what? The reason why I brought it up, we had a guest on the other night that's going around and saying that UFOs are not, well, from another planet, that they are our demons, the fallen angels. Why would they I forbid be? you say what you want to say, too? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it, it just it, I find it very frustrating. I mean, logic. Yeah, definitely sense, is. Like, I, I, you know, I just can't believe we're the only ones here at the campground. That's all I'm saying is I, I, I feel that we are being visited because why would they be abducting people, experimenting with people? Oh, I know why. They're just doing it to keep us scared and confused. I, I don't get ready that. for hell. Yeah. Get, yeah. And that's where they're going to go. You know, that's the scary <laughs> part. I, I do feel that there's been too many reports of UFOs going through the years, going back in time, going back to cavemen on the walls, you know, where there is flying objects painted on the walls. There's men in suits. Well, were they Satan going back then? I, I don't think so. I think they, they painted on the walls what they saw. I'm telling yeah. you, that WikiLeaks uh papers that they had i think it was two or three years ago i'm not kidding the higher up i forget his name but in the emails that was the reason right there he said they were demons and that you know because you know in god we trust um that was the reason that we weren't going to look into it because it was the devil and we shouldn't be uh looking into things that are evil like that well i mean i've got a bunch of ufo videos i don't see the devil in them at all you know, and that's the thing is I'm not trying to make fun of it. It's just, it's, uh, it's something really hard to take seriously, to be honest with you. When someone, when I couldn't believe that that's what you were bringing up. I, I don't know. It's, it's hard to talk about, especially with uh, people that are uh, one-sided about it and don't have an open mind. Well, that's just it. I mean, the only way we're going to get anywhere and accomplish anything is if we look at this thing logically. And here we have, we got all, the, you know, I'll, I'll tell you, ufology is probably the one most div, uh, diverse uh, thoughts of, of something being that you could ever run across. I mean, you got these people it, it believe that, well, they're demons. You got another one, oh, no, they're, they're nothing more than coming back from time. Or they're coming from a parallel universe. Oh, I don't. I don't buy. I don't believe honestly that there's another me, facsimile of me, on another universe uh, uh, of another parallel uh, universe. I don't believe that. I don't think it, that that would be possible. But yet people believe in it, and and that they have their right. Yeah, just like Project Serpo. I mean, you know, uh, since you guys were bringing up, uh, I guess, the uh, time frame difference, um, you know, I can't remember. I think their planet was, uh, they say it was hotter on there, and uh, the days were longer. Anyways, um, but yeah, that's a great example right there, you know, if that were real or true. Uh, who knows? <laughs> but 
yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, anyways, I forget where I was going with that. I apologize. But, uh, but I, what I want to say is, yeah, I don't know. It's just ignorance to me if you're not going to give uh, anything else a chance. Uh, and if you're saying that we're the only people here, I mean, the, the universe is massive. I mean, that, that, to, to be honest with you, it's just stupid. Well, then you got other people, though. You know, this is a round table. That's why I'm I'm throwing this stuff at you. And James is quiet as a mouse. You know, well, I can uh, say something. <laughs> well, you're, you're not. But yeah, here's the whole thing. I hear guests coming on. We're living in a hologram. We're nothing but living in the metrics. I hear those people. I hear the people say the earth is flat and that we're in a huge warehouse created by some other force we don't know. Uh, come on. We're not on a computer game. Come on. I don't buy that one for a second. We're not in the metrics and we're not a hologram. The, uh, come on. I mean, if you want to believe all that stuff that you have that right to. And if I lose listeners tonight over that, I'm just trying to get people to open up their eyes and their mind and, and think, okay, there has been too many sightings of UFOs. Too many abduction cases going on and too many strange things that we just can't account for. That's all I'm saying. That's all. Well, we're only limited by our knowledge and advancement by our imagination. And I will say this when I, when I said earlier that, yeah, I can see demons doing that because they can mimic things. What I mean is, Demons can get in your mind, and they'll find your fears. And I'm, I don't think that all these things are demons, not at all. But I do know that they can get in your mind, and I do think that some people, they can uh, make people think that they're being abducted when maybe they're not being abducted. I'm not talking the ones being taken out and put in shifts. I'm talking that sometimes things happen in the room because um, they can make you see things and, can and they? do things. James, can they? Is there such a yeah, really thing as demons? Is there such real things as polar guys? Is there such thing as ghosts, if you really think about it? Or is it that our brain has the capability to manifest those thoughts? Well, whatever it may be, I've seen these things in my world. And if our brain is capable of doing that, then our brain, we should harness that power and advance to the next level then. I don't know. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm trying to give people a lot of thought here. That's all. Right. I get what you're saying. I, I, you know, again, you, there's no hearts hard to prove these things. And I wouldn't say these things, but I've seen things. I've seen these things repeatedly and I can't prove them, I, you know, but I do. I will say that, yes, there is definitely life out there. Life's been coming here, I think, for millennia. I mean, you can look at look, you can go to Gobeki, Te- Tepe and these places that you, we can't build these things today. I mean, even the pyramids, we supposedly built those with uh, copper tools when we hadn't even invented the wheel yet. And some of these things weigh 20 tons. You, you can't, it, it's, it's not feasible to even make any of that, these megalithic things all over the, the uh, world. It, it's, you're, you're fooling yourself if you think we built that stuff. Well, you know I, I what? Mean, Think about it, James. You just hit it right. We didn't have the tools. We didn't have we didn't have the tools to cut the stones. Let alone, did we have sl- uh, slide rules? Did we have a computer? Did we have the capability to cut these stones perfectly? Which we can't even do it today. Th- so, are we that naive? I think we are. And the majority of people think, oh, you know, hey, that they did this. Uh, I, I, they, they had some way to, no, there hasn't been one person that could actually duplicate it. I listened to a guy on another show the other night. In fact, the guy was on my show twice and I, it, talking about how the pyramids were built. I don't know what grass he is smoking, but if you want to believe that, I mean, and believe these, somebody, somebody sits back, right? And comes up with a theory and now their theory is, well, you know, the, is the holy uh, grail i mean logically thinking about it uh, you actually build a pyramid by making a canal through the sand and feed water through it and then bring these huge perfect cut stones 20 miles down a canal get a group of people to stand on the backside of the barge and 